Hey y'all, we're back again. Sorry for the slim shady vibe, but it's, we got probably two, three, four inches of snow outside and my garage is cold. But I wanted to come to you guys with a surprise install. I had every plan to do another chat vid, but my wife surprised me by ordering something for either one of the bikes that I think we both know is gonna go on the street glide. Stupid telemarketers. You know, why can't they just leave you alone? Those are the ones we need to get rid of. Especially now that they can like, you know, spoof your local zip code. Anyway, so back to what I was saying is she got me these. They're from Kimimoto. We've got some of their, we've gotten their stuff in the past, but inside, and it's gonna be hard to tell, we have floorboard spacers along with new hardware, and directions. Direct, sorry, cut off there. And directions that are printed and in English, but are the least imaginative imaginative way to go about all this. But essentially, what it's going to allow us to do is take our floorboards and just slide them out by one inch. And then mind you, I've got a almost non-existent inseam, but when I stand or walk, my feet aren't straight. They're kind of kicked out. So I think by sliding these out by an inch, it's going to actually get more of my foot on the floorboard and it'll be a little bit more comfortable to try to force my legs in. So it's a fairly straightforward, it's four bolts. We got to use our 5 16 Allen. I'm going to use an extension. And because it was Black Friday, I went ahead and picked up a new 3 8 ratchet from Harbor Freight in gold that won't last because, well, it was on sale and it looks kind of cool for now. So over here, we've got a bolt here for the floorboard mount and a bolt here for the floorboard mount. So we've got a round spacer that's gonna go here and kind of an ovular shaped one that's gonna go back here with an indexing pin. But I'll show you that once we get these two bolts popped out and I start to put the new hardware in. So let's get to turning wrenches. All right, so I went ahead and got the right side floorboard off. You can tell it's just got a little R in there. So I just kind of kept everything as is, opened up all of our hardware. Now the directions tell you that these should be stamped somewhere RH or LH, and I can tell you they aren't. I don't know if it's just I got the unlucky sets or not, but mine aren't stamped as per the English as a second language directions. So this is the rear of the mount. Here's the front. There's going to be a new front bolt. There's going to be a new rear bolt. You got some lock washers. This, I only know this by actually fitting it on there. This is the rear side on the right. This is going to be for the front. And they're going to go between the mount and the frame itself. Oops. And here's that little indexing pin. You got one down there already with a hole on the back side. So just like that. So, and then you've got your bike right over here. So I did bust out the old Loctite. Since I am gonna Loctite these. You don't want your floorboards come flying off. So, and then this, just like the, the rear, it's just gonna slide on like that. But obviously you'll have your longer bolts sticking through the rear. So let's see if I can, Oh, I knew that was going to happen. So we've got long bolt that doesn't want to stand up. Lock washer. That one falling off. Round spacer. Pushing that through. Boom. We'll have our blue Loctite on here. And we'll just spin that in. I mean, I mean, I know we got the, the split washer, but it doesn't hurt. It's just blue Loctite. So the directions don't give me any torque specs. I could use the torque specs from the stock bolts, but let's be honest, these are Harley bolts. These are Chineseium bolts. I'm just gonna give them a couple of good elbow ugga duggas and call it a day and check it after, you know, 50, 100, 150, 3000 miles, make sure everything's still snug. So I'm gonna need two hands for this. I didn't bring my tripod, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this mounted up. And then I'll show you what it looks from the top view down from the right side to the left side so you can actually see a before and after. So let me get to cracking. 
All right, so right side is on. You can see how much more of a gap there is now on that side compared to that side. Sorry about the flashlight, just trying to make sure you guys can actually see. So we'll just double check and you know, I'll come back to you once I get the, the left side on be a bit more apples to apples comparison, you know, uh, with the shift, pedal, uh, shift arms there. But I can tell you just from sitting on the bike, this is still nice and solid, even with that one inch extension. And I, I, I climbed on the bike with all my weight on this floorboard, slung my foot over, my leg over, sat down. And I can tell you, normally I've got most of my foot hanging off here. So mo I'm mostly using the corner here because of how my feet hang. Now I'm utilizing pretty much this lower half, the entire half you know, diagonally, of course, but of this. And it just feels, I feel like my foot's just got a lot more support to it without conscientiously having to bring my foot over and in to be on the floorboard some more. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out real quick. I'm gonna get that low side on and let you guys see how it looks on the low side, one inch out, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, so. That side's done now. Should have a better representation of how much <laughs> how much one inch makes a difference. That is not what she said. Or is it? But I will tell you that that made a world of difference just now sitting on the bike, you know, having my foot just a little bit further out, or at least having the floorboard further out, lets me get more foot on the floorboard more comfortably. It actually, oddly enough, maybe it's just me, but it actually allowed me to bring my knees in uh, closer to the tank because before I felt like I was forcing my feet in which was then flaring my my knee out So I was sitting here kind of Diagonally with my shin So I think once the snow is gone it warms up a bit. I think that's going to be a, a huge huge uh, comfort gain so take a look at it from the front side here, I mean just One extra inch there. I mean I'm further away from the heat you know, this will actually flip all the way up. I don't know if it would before or not, but I'm gonna say it didn't, but I, I don't know. So, all in all, you know, I, it, it's Chinese stuff. It's from Kimimoto. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've got their highway pegs and I love them. I think I'm really gonna like these floorboard extensions. I wanna say they were less than 60 bucks, maybe even less than 50 bucks. I'll put a link down in the description. You can pull them off of Amazon. I, hell, I've even got one of their, their heated vests that uh, you know you, you can wear under layers and you throw a little power pack in there and take off and keeps you warm. So all in all, I've been really impressed with the Kimimoto stuff. I will admit their direction, the directions, well, they suck. But, and I have no idea why I have two extra bolts in the directions here. It, it talks about, you know, if you have a CVO, the bolts come in from the back, but I can't imagine the CVOs use any more bolts for their floorboards than the rest of us peasants. I mean, if you if you have a CVO and, and you know, if it has more than two bolts on each side, let me know, you know, it's outside my budget. Uh, but all in all, I mean, huge thanks to my wife. I wasn't expecting it. She. Uh, had some stuff show up yesterday in the mail and she pretty much threw the box at me and said, here you go. I was really excited because here I was thinking I was just going to come talk to you guys. So uh, that's all I've got. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Like I said, I'll leave the link to these in the description. Uh, if you would just, you know, hit the buttons, do the things. I appreciate it every time somebody does. Otherwise, we'll catch you all next time. Later.